These are Beta Chinoides. Just got this pair from MAC last week. Thank you so much, MAC. Looking forward to sending babies to you once you get settled in. And wow, that... I think that's the fastest that has ever happened. I literally just plopped him in. He hasn't even looked around the tank and they started embracing. So these guys really like each other. <laughs> but you can see the vertical barring on the female, that gorgeous dark red, black and white contrast on the male. That's hilarious. That's the fastest I've ever seen two mouth brooding bettas get at it. And usually they spawn within, for me, within a day of introduction, but that was, <laughs> that was awesome. So I've always wanted this species, I've never kept it before. Really excited to um, get some babies from these guys. I kept them apart for a week once they got here. I was feeding them pellets, white worms, um, grindle worms, just a selection of things. Wow, she is striped up, ready to go. Wow. Well, I'm gonna let these guys continue they haven't released eggs yet from their embrace so you know they're just practicing getting to know each other again wow just stunning stunning fish and I apologize for the glare it's the afternoon so um, it's kind of hard my room gets really bright in the afternoon these guys are about at 77 degrees yeah they're heading to the back um, they're in these six gallon square tanks, you can see, if it'll focus, come on. So they're in these six gallon square tanks, I don't know why it's not focusing, there we go. Six gallon square tanks, um, really like these tanks, they don't make them anymore, but they provide quite a lot of uh, area for the fish. And you can see, I just have it jam packed full of java moss and plants some driftwood, lots of hiding spaces. The male was in this tank, and you can see I had them visually separated from each other for the week, first week that they were here. So yeah, Beta Chinoides, super excited for these guys. <laughs>